Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip is waterproofing hemp cord. Now, if you've ever used hemp cord for um, making jewelry projects like this macrame uh, polymer clay bracelet, and you've got it wet, you'll know that it smells like a wet dog when it gets wet, and I just hate that smell. And I've avoided making jewelry, especially bracelets with it, if, um, about if I thought I could get it wet and then, you know, always doing dishes and that kind of thing, you end up getting your jewelry wet. I came up with this idea, which it works out perfect for it. And all you need to do is use some preserve your memories to spray. Now this is, um, also known as PYM2 and it's a really neat product. It's meant for scrapbooking, um, for, uh, protecting all kinds of different things like papers, uh, metals, it works beautifully on polymer clay and now on hemp. And I'll just show you quickly what you can do is I've made this bracelet here and it's got um, a combination of, um, of the hemp cord, of course, some uh, magnesite beads and some polymer clay beads. These are the Arizona beads that I um, did a tutorial on a while back. Now it's already all been knotted and it's ready to go. And what I can do is just use a little bit of this spray and I'll just shake it up first and what we're going to do is just spray the whole thing beads and cord and all with, with this spray and I can just go along and coat both sides it only takes a couple of minutes to dry so I would just let that sit and then I would turn it over and do the other side now I love using this product for all kinds of different uh, polymer care play <laughs> polymer clay projects as well but this is just a really great way of protecting that cord so that it is waterproof and it doesn't get wet and you won't smell like a wet dog so i hope you enjoyed that tip and i will see you next time bye for now